this week's Beyond Clean Expert Series episode entitled When to Use a PCD or Test Pack was written by EO sterilization expert Ted May, President and CEO at Anderson Products Division. Do you know the difference between a biological indicator and a test pack, also called a process challenge device, and the proper use of each in a sterile processing program? Biological Indicator A successful sterilization process is verified with a biological indicator. BIs contain active bacterial spores, which provide a defined resistance to a sterilization process. The complete destruction of all the BI's spores, often over one million of them, provides assurance that sterilization was achieved. Medical equipment that has been properly cleaned is typically never contaminated with organisms more resistant to sterilization and harder to destroy than a BI's spores. The problem is, a BI's negative result does not, by itself, confirm that the processed item, particularly a complex device, is sterile. Why? A negative BI result only indicates that all resistant spores were destroyed at the site where the BI was placed. When processing a complex instrument, the challenge is to confirm that every microorganism deep within the load itself, for example, within the long and narrow internal channels of a flexible endoscope, was destroyed. How do you place a standard BI in the middle of an endoscope's longest and narrowest channel? Process Challenge Device This confirmation is resolved using a unique accessory called a Process Challenge Device, or PCD. Also referred to as a BI test pack, the PCD is validated to be more difficult to sterilize than the worst case location of a given load. Moreover, the PCD standardizes practice by eliminating the requirement that staff consistently place the BI at the same proper site within the sterilizer prior to each cycle, a technique that can vary and cause misinterpretation of the BI's result. How does your department utilize PCDs or test packs? Do you have a PCD that is validated for especially complex devices such as duodenoscopes, or are you assuming that a BI placed in the load is good enough? Thanks for listening to this episode of the Beyond Clean Expert series. For more ethylene oxide sterilization questions and answers, you can contact Ted at ted.may at sterility.com.